Today I'm going to teach you guys how can you make a custom block from scratch. So let's get started with the video. So to make a block, you need to go to make a block and then you will open up this menu. So as you can see, make a block, there's a, you know, like, kind of like a preview of what, I mean, like, what will your block look like, something like that. There's functions, there's this thing where you can tick, but I'll just explain that later. And there's cancel and OK. So now let's get started with, you know, like the basic here. So as you can see, you can, you know, like, can drag this around. You can add something like that. So now you can click on here and then just name this thing like jump or something. I'm just going to use a jump. So now there is an input number or text. So number or text is just like a normal variable. So the result will be number or either like text or in like the programming language they call it string. But since Scratch combined it like number and text, something like that. So now it's Boolean. So I actually make the video all about Boolean, so you can go check it out. Uh, you know, like it will be in the top right corner of this video. So basically, the result will be true or false, something like that. Oh, I just wrote false wrong. Okay. So that is with the Boolean, and this is just you know, this is just label. Wait, what is that? So basically, this is just a, you know, like, add another text label. I guess I broke it. Oh, I broke it. Okay, so there we go. And also, there is run without screen refresh. So, let me explain that to you. So, for example, if I make move and then click OK. So, run without screen refresh. Let me just go ahead and edit and take this thing here. So, I was just going to use this code here so this will be repeat 10 times move 10 steps and then I'm just going to duplicate this to move there we go so now I'm just going to drag it so you might see a difference here so basically let me explain all about that so basically uh move I mean like the block without like run without screen refresh it will run before the screen refresh so basically it would just run the script I mean, like, you know, before the screen refresh. So, the screen refresh, so as you can see, here's the difference. As you can see, it's like moving, something like that. But run without screen refresh is just like teleporting. Because the thing is, it runs first. So, like, the first thing they run is like, oh, the exposition of this thing is like 100. And then, the screen refresh, so now it's like 100, it's not like the normal script, something like that. So now let's go ahead and create, you know, like some simple block. We've done about, you know, like run well screen refresh. If you have any questions about this thing, make sure to join my Discord server and ask me in the question room. Actually, there will be a question room in my Discord server. So yeah, so you can get more like information. So let's actually, you know, like, do anything with this block here so let me jump and then add a number input so there will be height something like that and add another label for when t and then uh this one we're just going to make t and another one and press so you don't need to you know like add a necess unnecessary thing here but i'm just going to use it here. So as you can see, you see a defined block here. So define is basically like definition of it. Like you need to tell the definition by adding a code here. Just for like, you know, something like changing variables, something like that. That's defined. Make sure you put it here. So for example, jump height. So I'm just going to, you know, drag this block here. So I have to x0 and then event that will be something like that now jump height so i was just going to use like change y by height so you can actually drag this into like something like that you can just like drag here so now the key it just look like 
I know like for the bullying is just look like this one. Actually, that's the same. And then we're going to say if and this is just an example if key something like that if key then change by height something like that and now to you know to like run the script here you can't just like have the defined block and it won't work actually it won't work and sadly it won't work even though you do anything with it so all you have to do is just click on my block and as you can see there's a jump when key that's the block I did and now I'm just gonna drag it here so now you can see there is number so for height I'm just gonna put it 10 for example what happened oh 10 and then the key I'm just gonna drag a space key to, just for example and now I'm just gonna put forever actually you can put forever here but uh yeah just an example so there we go. So as you can see, this works. Something like that. Yeah, so that's it with you know like you know making a box there. Also, there is like many things you can do with this block. Also, make a block is very useful when you do like a lot of scripting work and like that. You can just you know if you want to use this script like a lot of time, you can just like Use it as a block, like you know, like use this, like use your block that you create for like the whole entire game. This is very useful, to be honest. Yeah, something like that is super useful. So yeah, guys, that's gonna be it with today's video. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to press that like button, subscribe because we are almost hit. 100 subscribers also make sure to join my discord server the link will be in the description down below follow my twitter yeah the link will be in the description down below follow me on scratch that and the link will be in the description as always keep learning scratch i mean like keep learning programming because it's cool and yeah guys i will see you guys in the next video bye